growing up, I always thought like I had to be a certain type of person because I was different and I was big and I had freckles. And you know, like, so, oh, I must fit in this box because mm -hmm. that's what people tell me I have to do. And I feel now the great thing is like girls are growing up right now, your daughter and all those young girls, they know they have the choice to not fit in the box, to be whoever they are, to be different every day, to be different from their girlfriend, their neighbor. And I think that's like the coolest part about it. And fashion kind of follows this, mm -hmm. this tendency. And I think that's great for all of us. No, man, that next generation, they're going to be they're rock killers. stars. They have yeah. like, they're girl <laughs> I couldn't imagine, like I sometimes have conversations with my daughter, with Jocelyn, and I, I find it so interesting because I grew up where my mother struggled with her weight mm -hmm. and yo-yo dieted, right? So that's what I saw as an example. And still I came out confident and cool and like secure of where I stood within this fashion world and within how my body was supposed to be. And then now you kind of flip to the opposite side where like I've now showed her an industry and she's growing up in this body positive revolution that allows her to be so secure of herself that at nine years old, she is everything I am now at 30 at nine and I'm like, oh my God, you're gonna be insane. You're gonna, you guys are gonna cure cancer. You guys are gonna be the exact mirror of everything we wish we would have grown up with. And you can visibly see it. Like she's confident, she knows who she is. She knows what she wants to do in life. And to be able to create those leaders is the best part of our job.